a symphony of neutral buoyancy. Imagine a scuba diver gliding effortlessly through the water. They move with grace and precision, neither sinking nor floating. They are neutrally buoyant, perfectly balanced in the aquatic realm. This is the pinnacle of scuba diving skill, a delicate dance between diver, equipment, and the underwater environment. Achieving neutral buoyancy is an art form, requiring practice, patience, and a deep understanding of the interplay between several factors. It is the gateway to unlocking the full potential of scuba diving, transforming a simple descent into a truly immersive and awe-inspiring experience. As you delve deeper into the world of scuba diving, mastering neutral buoyancy becomes more than just a skill. It becomes an essential tool for conservation and personal enjoyment. It allows you to interact with the underwater world with minimal impact, preserving its delicate beauty for generations to come. At the heart of neutral buoyancy lie two key elements, the buoyancy control device, or BCD, and your own breath control. The BCD, much like a diver's personal buoyancy regulator, allows for adjustments in buoyancy by adding or releasing air. This fine-tuning ability is crucial for counteracting changes in depth and the compressing effects of water pressure on a diver's wetsuit. Lung volume plays an equally important role. By taking slow, deep breaths, divers can subtly adjust their overall buoyancy. Inhaling slightly increases buoyancy, while exhaling has the opposite effect. Think of it as fine-tuning your position in the water column with each breath. Mastering the interplay between these two elements forms the foundation of neutral buoyancy control. It's about finding that delicate balance, that sweet spot, where you become one with the water, effortlessly moving through this alien environment. Beyond BCD and breath control, several techniques can refine your underwater dance. The fin pivot, for instance, helps divers gauge their buoyancy. By kneeling on the seabed and gently breathing in, you can find the point where your body lifts off the bottom. This indicates neutral buoyancy. Body positioning also plays a crucial role. A streamlined horizontal position minimizes drag and improves control. Even the slightest change in trim, the angle of your body in the water, can significantly impact your buoyancy. Experiment with different finning techniques, such as the frog kick or flutter kick, to find what works best for you. Remember, efficient movement translates to less energy expenditure and longer dive times. The rewards of mastering neutral buoyancy extend far beyond personal satisfaction. For starters, it significantly reduces air consumption. The less you fight against your buoyancy, the less energy you expend, and the longer your air supply lasts. Environmentally, good buoyancy control is paramount. It prevents accidental contact with delicate coral reefs and marine life, preserving the underwater world for future generations. Moreover, neutral buoyancy opens up a world of photographic opportunities. With improved stability and control, you can capture stunning images and videos of marine life without disturbing their natural behavior. Mastering neutral buoyancy is a journey, not a destination. It requires dedication, practice, and a willingness to learn. Start by practicing in a controlled environment, such as a swimming pool or shallow dive site. Take the time to experiment with your BCD, fine-tuning your buoyancy control. Focus on your breathing, aiming for slow, deep breaths that complement your movements. Seek guidance from experienced instructors who can provide personalized feedback and tailored training exercises. Remember, every dive is an opportunity to refine your skills. Embrace the learning process, and you'll soon find yourself gliding effortlessly through the water, a true master of the underwater dance.